Hi there, Jamie Good, wine on camera. And I've got an interesting wine to show you this evening. It's the Sagru and it's the Trouble with Dreams. But this is actually um, a special bottling of the Trouble with Dreams. And the Trouble with Dreams is a 2014 vintage, 60% Chardonnay, 40% Pinot Noir. And this is the um, hash Zodo. So it's zero dosage, um, special bottling, um, which is going to be released um, later this summer. Um, and I've got a chance to have a look at it a little early. So what's it like? And many of you probably have heard of Dermot Segru, who's um, one of the most well-known winemakers in the English sparkling wine scene. He started off with Nitin, but now he's a winemaker at Whiston Estate. And this is his own project, Segru. And um, yeah, so zero dosage. It's apparently 1.6 grams a litre of, of sugar, but then that's the sugar that's left over from fermentation that isn't, you know, the, the unfermentable sugars. So what you've got to remember is that dosage is not exactly the same as residual sugar because the actual residual sugar will be higher than the dosage usually. Anyway. You know, what's really interesting here is that yeah, the acidity is high, but it's not pronounced. This is not an acidic wine. It's not a, a wine that you think, whoa, um, it's not austere at all. The, the acidity integrates nicely into the rest of the wine. Um, it's got um, a little bit of depth here. It's got citrus fruit drive, but it's also got some sort of apple and pear richness. Remember, this has spent um, four years and a bit on the lees before disgorgement. I think this wine was disgorged a couple of months ago, so it's been two months on the cork after quite a lengthy time on lees. It's just massively drinkable. There's um, some toast and nuts and a touch of honey. Um, and that sort of slightly slight apple character as well. Um, and they all work together to give the impression of a, of a complex wine. And you know, this wine doesn't miss the sugar. Um, yes, I know that I quite like a little bit of dosage, but this wine is a zero dosage wine, has, has got that fruit and the, the, the roundness and maturity that comes from the time on lees that means that you don't, don't really need the sugar. It's really um, a lovely wine. It's, it's more, it's kind of like, it's got some richness of flavour, but it also has delicacy as well. Um, and the delicate sort of acid line that just, um, you know, frames everything beautifully, um, gives us a, a sort of sense of lightness, even though there's some rich flavours as well. So my verdict, I think this is a, a distinctive, singular, and very attractive English sparkling wine. And um, it's really interesting to see, um, you know, an, a zero dosage wine from a country where acidity is normally a problem and needs some balance from the sugar. This wine I don't think needs that. Really nice. Thanks for watching.